Meanwhile, in La Jolla, a young girl and her grandfather died in an early morning house fire. That girl's father and sister were able to make it out of the burning home. The flames and smoke were so intense, neighbors had to be evacuated. The fire began just before 4 a.m. on Caminito La Paz near La Jolla Parkway. And that's where we find Fox 5's Jamie Chambers, who is live in La Jolla with developing details. Jamie. Yeah, just an absolute difficult story for everyone involved in this. You can see investigators are still digging through the ruins of this house. They say eventually this house will need to be taken completely down, but they're still trying to figure out exactly where this fire started. The flames tore through the quiet home on Caminito La Paz, but even with firefighters just a literal minute away, not everyone inside was able to escape. This video taken by a Fox 5 viewer shows the intense fight to keep the flames from spreading. We had fire coming out of every window, every door. When they put a ladder to the second floor to try and make entry, uh, because they had reports immediately that there were people trapped, uh, that the flames prohibited them, stopped them from getting any further than the balcony. Uh, even one of the ladders was scorched in the process of trying to get inside. Neighbors and close family friends say the victims were a grandfather and his eight-year-old autistic granddaughter. Daughter. There were explosions or glass, glass breaking. And so then I look out the window and go, what is going on? Neighbor Maggie Nissan says the father and his one daughter went back in to try to rescue them and they got burnt and they had to come back out. The mother of the eight year old girl was held away from the house because the home was too damaged to enter. Fire crews are investigating the accident and are trying to understand how the home burned down so quickly. And for those rescuers who were first on the scene are also dealing with the especially difficult circumstances. The majority of the guys here um, have children. So when you come to an incident and there's children involved in any way, uh, it, it, hit close, it hits close to home. And you can see what is looking like a house, but it's really just a shell and there's still smoldering uh, smoke in there and firefighters still using water to put out those hot spots as they continue their investigation into this house fire. Uh, the father and the other 10 year old daughter were able to escape with minor burns. I've been told by family uh, friends that they have left the hospital and are expected to recover physically.